G'day guys, Menace here, and we are back with another Planet Coaster versus Scrap Mechanic video. The last one did pretty well, and a lot of people really enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it, so I thought it'd be time to make another one. We are back in Peanut Land, which we should do some work on sometime soon. Um, I haven't done much since adding the volcano, unfortunately, but I have decided on the next ride that I want to do, and it is called the Sky Ace. Um, we're going to get into how it works in a minute. But first, I need to chuck a path in. This one I'll do. This is this is not um, not permanent, ladies and gentlemen. This is just going to be um, really dodgily put together. We'll turn the ride on because I want to go for a lap in it. Uh, we'll hit the play button. Oh, we'll jump in the seat, and actually, we should just go cinematic because I don't really know how it works. Uh, we also need to probably get some people in here. So we need to wait until everybody sort of starts queuing up. Here we go. Little little uh, park goers are in here. Going to line up and go on the Sky Ace. So what I presume is it sort of spins around and then these spin around on another axis. Um, we'll have a look at it in just a second. As they all load up into the little aeroplanes. I think it could be fun if we uh, build... Oh. Need to sort of slide down there, mate. So, yeah, I was right. So, the planes are on a fixed pillar. And then they pivot in the axis, axis in the middle. They have a pivot axis in the middle. And a counterweight too, which will be cool. And it sort of spins around like that. I think that'll be a sweet ride. And we've got the colors to kind of make, you know, this little building in the middle. Um, we can make props. I think this could be a very good project. And I'm going to try and smash it out in one episode. Which will be super hard, I think. Um, check out all, all those sound effects are pretty cool. Let's jump into the camera. Cinematic view. Yeah, that's a pretty cool run. Alright, I think it's going to be time to head into Scrap Mechanic now. And we'll start working on it. I'll take a few screenshots for myself so that I know what I need to build. Um, so it's kind of like, yeah. I reckon we can do this. Let's head over to the Scrap Mechanic world. Right, we are in the scrap mechanic. Well, this is a brand new map. I haven't added anything to any other parks or whatever. This is actually not a bad spot right here for us to start work on the Sky Ace. It's a pretty simple concept, but first thing I'm going to do is rearrange my hotbar. I like to have uh, my connect tool here like that. We might actually just lay out the floor with a whole heap of concrete, maybe. Mm, we'll decide in a minute. Uh, we'll start probably by building the center of it it doesn't have to be huge i think this will do maybe sort of that looks like a square already sweet and then we'll make a base to start with we kind of need it to be pretty high actually maybe a bit higher than this for that middle axis and then you know, because we want a good, a good rotation of the actual carriages. Um, they, I don't want them to be boring. You know, when you're inside the scrap mechanic world. Get that there. And then this here, like that. Uh, what I will do. Oh, we should probably test that it's actually. It's not really a square, is it? I think I've actually stuffed this up already. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's not bad. My 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12. So, I've actually got one too many on this side. There's a rectangle, not a square. So, we'll delete this. Simple enough. And then we'll put in a pillar up the middle. Just to mark that which is cool beans and then we can jump back up here and this is where the center axis will sit and what i will use is probably some of these big boys here uh, we will need a bearing on that on that there and then what i can do is use we're going to use eye beams because that's pretty pretty much what they've got um on the ride i reckon and we'll use... Where's the long eye beam? Is that there? And we'll use this as well. So I want to kind of start off by building a frame off of this where we have... It's only going to be four. 
Because... I don't think we can... Can we do this? Do one there as well. One in this direction. One here. One here. One here. One here and one here. Is that an even number? Or is that too many? I think it might be too heavy. If we go that many, it will... Yeah. I definitely think we're only going to go four. So it's going to be a scaled down version. I apologize. I guess we're going to have to just live within the limits of scrap mechanic. Because this bearing will have way too much load on it otherwise. What we might even have trouble doing is getting it to rotate around. Depending on how heavy we make this thing. Uh, but for now, we can work that out later. Because... Um, the, why is it jiggling like that? Um, yeah, so what we can do later on is use the suspension bug, which is still in the game, which I am actually very grateful for, because it is such a good good exploitation bug. <laughs> Something that we can use very often. So we'll get rid of all this. And I want to have this go down. So I wonder if that's going to scrape. Maybe we'll just get rid of that. And that as well. And then we'll just put this in here like that. That doesn't look half bad. It'll be nice and blue once we're finished. Um, let's finish these off here. Um, I think it was just... These eye beams across here like that. And then another one here. Put this down here. And we'll finish these off. Well, I've just been thinking about how I'm building this. And I don't think this is going to work. Um, issue is going to be building the rest of the tower above it. So we might have to actually delete all this. And then create a sort of a frame, I guess. Oh, it's going to be difficult, I think. To build it how I want to build it. Um, hmm. thought it was going to be an easy one, but it's not. Oh, don't do that. Don't want to delete that stuff. So I don't want this to spin, really, do I? What I want is the the bits to spin around the outside of it. What I could do is have the centerpiece spin in the anti-clockwise direction so it stays still and the bit underneath will spin. No, that won't work, will it? Yeah, will. All right, so what I can do is go on and put this here, all right? This will be our spinny base in which we have the bits going off it, which I just completely destroyed, which was kind of unnecessary. On top, we're going to have another one. And this is where we will keep... Oop, this is where we will put the rest of the tower above it, right? And this will spin in the opposite direction to... Let's just go up here. The rest of this part here and then from here we can sort of build out the the rest of the tower if that makes sense um let's just do this really quickly delete all that i think that's a square uh right now what i'll do is i'll get an electric engine out because they have the most talk someone asked me so why do you use electric engines they're crap i'll tell you what mate they are not crap they are absolutely awesome and I love them. So we can do this. Oh, hook this up here. And then this up here as well. Uh, we also need to put a switch on it. Which can go in this slot right here. Alright. And then I'm hoping my brain are smart enough. We can do this. Yes. Okay, cool. So then you can see here the bottom one spinning. The top one is going in the opposite direction. Keeping the entire thing still. Got it. Nailed it. Sweet. All right. Let's go into back into build mode. Um, what I will actually do, though, is... Well, I don't really need to delete all that. I can just build off here. So I'll build this off again. Okay. So I have it sorted out. Now, check this out. This looks really cool. Doesn't it? So from here, we need to kind of extend out the these beams. So we'll get our standard eye beam out here. We can make it prettier in a bit. Three... No, we're probably going to need four, five, I'm thinking. Five of those. That's a long way out. 
uh, this way. Yep, one, two, three, four, five. Now, I hope that we don't put so much weight on this that it doesn't spin because we're not going to be able to use that suspension bug because that will definitely throw out the top of the tower. Uh, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five. I get so distracted in this game. Talking to you people. Talking to you lovely people. One, two, three, four, five. We're good to go. Now we can think about putting on the other stuff. Let's, let's see how this will run. Just beautifully. All right, now we're going to work on the spinning axis of the other arm. So let's just put like this here. Okay, then we'll chuck a bearing down like that. And then from here, we will put in more I-beams. Um, put down one, two, three. That should be sufficient. And then we can put down another one of these little fellas like that. And that's where we're going to build our little airplane with the seats. Um, we will need to connect these up as well to some bearings and whatnot. But we need to jump up here first. And then we need to make a counterweight. Um, I've also got to just put this here so I can jump up nicely like that. And then one, two. I wonder if I could get this out a little bit further. Is that, I think that's on the ground that put you there with the increased elevator blocks it's good one two and then oh oh wrong way three and then maybe we need you to put some a little bit of a counterweight on this so let's build like a little bit of a a little bit of a bell uh we'll need to kind of build this off this way a bell a bit of a counterweight should be sufficient we could put like an engine on there actually that'd be a really good counterweight what have i got in here that is nice and fat and heavy uh medium weight maybe we could put one of these on a medium tank Let's see how big that is hang on um uh, engine there i could deal with that uh we'll do that over here like so. Stand back a wee bit. Cool. I hope that's in the middle. Delete all this out of here. As well as all of you. Drop you down here. That's not too bad. That'll that'll work just fine, I think, for a counterweight. Uh, what we do need to do right now is hook this up straight away to uh, a controller. Because I think things will start to go real pear-shaped if I don't. And you go there. There we go. You can see it was already starting to move. All right, from here, we want to build a solid little bit of seating. So one, two, three. And then we can kind of go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, we'll get our toilet seats out because they are... Uh, no, we can use the normal seats, I think. Let's just quickly switch to those there and there oh gee they're so heavy i wonder if we can even decorate this at all we'll use wood to decorate it i think um let's get the wood out and we'll put this here uh it sort of needs to be like a plane i guess we could go Out here we'll make like little wings oh, it's gonna be difficult eh? maybe just like a simple plane nice and easy one um, like like this and then sort of a wing out this way like that um, did I, how did I do that? Is that just sort of, yep. A little square. Like that. And then some wings off this way. I don't know how big I made those other wings though. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
one did i include that one one two three four five six yes i did go to the other side one two three four five six perfect and then we'll chuck in some of this and then a little bit of this was that how i did it over there no i didn't did i go two i went three um the fuselage needs to be basic again oh, these seats i don't think that this is going to work very well i can already see this sort of bowing oh and look at that the top spinning because of the weight <laughs> it sort of balances out once it catches up i guess that's okay doodles uh let's see if this is actually going to hit the inside uh what i want to do is put down a switch for you as well the controller um just put that there maybe it's a little bit too big and we want them to go clockwise 360 degrees in a constant pattern and we want it to go like this sort of speed Ooh, okay then uh what we can do is we'll get rid of that and then we'll get rid of that as well didn't think about that did you well calm it down mate all right then so it's not terribly great it's okay that's actually pretty cool i think we can work with that and to be honest those wings just sort of look all right by himself i think that is going to make me a happy mun a very happy man i can probably clean up the top but i'm going to work on the other ones and then we'll look at painting it and sort of finishing it off okay just finishing off the last well removing the scaffolding from this machine first of all and i have pretty much got all of the seats set out doesn't that look cool i think that looks cool once we paint it's gonna look like 10 times better now i'm just going to make a little bit of a pillar at the top and then we can sort of paint that um if we just Glitch up in here. Actually, what we might do is just use you to get all the way to the top. And then we can make this into here. And then uh, we'll just go sort of like that. And then you as well. And then you also. I kind of need to have a look at the colors. Oh, I'm stuck in here. Ah, wrong button. I was so scared that that was going to cause some issues then. And then let's go a little bit like this. Kind of want to make it heavier so that it... Like if it matches up with the other one, I'll just I'll just cry because that's really good. Really lucky. Uh, and then we can just do this. Hey, stop it. This is kind of a dodgy spot to be doing it like that and then we'll put one nice big pillar at the middle like so and that looks rough enough doesn't look too bad uh once we paint it i think things will look much better but let's give it a test run take away all this scaffolding also and this is going to be the test uh probably going to have to remove that though right we'll just put it over there go away Please work. Stop it. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> Can we up this to go fast? <laughs> the top just spins. Maybe I'm just going to have to live with the fact that we're not going to have that top bit. Maybe we'll put some... Yeah, we'll have to build some some suspension oh, suspension doohickeys in here. Just to get it going. Um, so we can just build it like this. I put our suspension here. Uh, I want to put that there. And then I'll need to get up on top. Maybe we can get away with just one. I hate. Oh, that's probably the most annoying thing ever. You're just falling off these things. I really wish they'd fix that. You know. What can you do? Well, what, what I will do, though, is we'll get rid of the, one of these things in here. Don't need that no more. 
put down this, right? Do that. Okay, then we can hook you up there. So we've got simultaneous switch movement. Uh, we need to use the red, like just go 30 degrees. See how it goes. Switch, please go. Now we're cooking. That thing in the middle is going. I'm sorry, ladies and... Ah! Gentlemen! It's like a little bit too fast. Actually, I think we might be fine. I think we've got it. Let's see. The top's going to spin just a little bit. Why is it... I don't even understand what's going on here. We're going to remove that top bit. Don't bonk me. Oh yeah, we need to set up the... The rest of these things. So, let's go in here. You can go this this way. You can go this way. And then you can go that way also. We've got it! Much success. The top's spinning. We'll deal with that. Oh, that's so cool. Let's get on one and have a go. If I... It's so hard to jump on. I can't even... I can't even get on there. They're just moving so quick. Yes, we got it. Alright, now we're cooking. Look at that. That's super cool. Alright, I'm going to do a quick paint job. And then I think we might wrap it up there. Turn it off. Off you go. Okay, just coloring the rest of these off. Actually, I've still got one more to do. Added some red in there as well. Because I'm pretty sure that the original one had some red on it as well. Also, and we can put that there. A little bit of black as well. Let's do this one. Uh, we want red seats. Actually, no, we want to go back to the blue first. Oh, I keep doing that. Stop pressing the scappy, you peanut. And then all of this down under here, which is sweet. Do all these ones here. Don't really know why I have these added. I just do. Uh, we'll jump up here. Do these three also. Then we'll jump over to the red. Do red seats. As well as the engine and prop. And then one black in the middle. And there it is. All done. So uh, what else do we need to do? We want to get the concrete blocks here. I don't think I'm going to paint the inside. Or the, the state building type deal. Uh, we'll delete that. Ooh, actually, uh, we can put some switches on the outside. So we'll do this one. To be honest, I think we could just do with, do with one. Uh, get rid of that. That. We'll just put this in here, here, and then here, right? And then, actually, you know what? I did actually disconnect all of these. Oh, I really hate hate this bug. I think what I might do is delete that entire thing. Add some new ones. They, like, hold their position. I don't understand why. It's a, it's a definite bug that needs sorting out. I'm going to let this continue to spaz out for a bit. And hopefully it's fixed in a second. Oh boy. Do the Harlem shake. <laughs> Look at this thing going nuts. That whole thing is wobbling on that entire bearing axis. Super cool. Well, we need to paint as well. Uh, that one's finished spazzing. Get the paint tool out. I think we're good to go. What happened to our propeller? That propeller done goofed so hard. <laughs> I need to paint this. And then this as well. And then you there. Uh, what I will do is fix this though. Uh, I think I know why. Because that actual prop. Uh, three. Uh, Q. Yeah, that prop was connected to the uh, actual engine and not the... Not the bearing itself. Uh, I also will put in just another little engine here. Um, this will be for the props. So we can hook that up as well. To all of these and make them just go super slow. Add that extra cool effect. This engine here. Hook you up to that. Just like that. And then I think we're good to go. We'll close up the hole that I just made in the side of the wall. 
and go. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Absolute peanut. Need to ho hook all these up. 360. Okay, you can go the opposite direction. You can go that way. And then you go all the way around here. Turn this on repeat. And then now we're good to go. Have I not hooked that one up? No, I have not. Now we're good to go. Ooh, ooh, it's skitzing out really hard. Maybe we need to slow that down or just a little bit. This is such a dangerous gauntlet going in here. Slow. Calm it down a little bit, buddy. Wait until they sort their crap out. Oh, I didn't paint a bit as well. Missed a, bit, a little bit more. And then I think we're good. Uh, blue. Oh, there's a little bit in there too. Can I reach that? I don't think I can reach that from here. We'll get on our elevator while these guys sort their crap out. Come on. That and that. Uh, delete you. Okay. Let's go. That's a bit karma. Isn't that pretty? That's really cool, actually. Let's see if we can get on one of these seats. Ah! It's kind of hard. Oh, come on. Now we're on. Sweet! Oh, I've got my props going the opposite direction, basically cancelling out their rotation. Oh well, that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Planet Coaster versus Scrap Mechanic. I'm going to try and do some more. If you have some suggestions for other games that I could do inside Scrap Mechanic, please let me know. My name is Menace. I want to thank you all so much for watching. See you all in the next video. Whee! Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Make sure you check out the rest of my channel and hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Thanks for watching.